next one. Well, they ask me right, what's wrong with the roof. Okay. Uh, yo, yo, tell Nil, tell Nil to make like a eight foot piece of flashing with a hook at the bottom so you can fish it in there, you know what I mean? This week, we're on the Wellington Project. The Wellington Project is basically a historical building, heritage building. This building has been uh, burned down multiple times, and now they're finally restoring it to a, a restaurant. Basically, when a, when a building is uh, historic, there's not much options when it, when it comes to terms of, uh, of development. You're limited to what you can do. So these developers basically tried to build a condo there years ago, and they got denied. The building ended up getting burned down. Pretty uh, coincidental, I guess. It's a rain day, so we have a bunch of guys who are working inside. Here. So the guys here are now expanding the shelving to accommodate for a 10-foot flat stock. So we have the guys here that are uh, fabricating sheet metal for a job that we're doing. So even though it's it's a rainy day, it's still a productive day at Skylux. It finally got approved to, to get developed into a restaurant slash lounge, and basically we're the ones helping restore it by uh, redoing the roof, redoing um, some of the siding, redoing some of the slate, natural slate on the walls. And um, we're also doing a bunch of the zinc work on the addition in the back where the restaurant will be uh, extended out onto. The boys have lots of their work cut out for them. Um, there's tons of zinc work on the project, tons of fake slate work. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to spend weeks and weeks in there just trying to get all this done. We're at the Wellington project. As you can see, our boy, the boys are working on the roof, doing all the slate. We're also working on the metal hips and ridges. When we install metal hips and ridges, we install them with no exposed fasteners. It's got a cleat system that gets riveted on and screwed in from the back so there's never any penetration. This whole back portion of the building here is gonna get built out and uh, it's gonna be part of the restaurant. There's gonna be a huge addition here, which we're gonna clad entirely with zinc into all the walls, all the roof, concealed gutter. It's gonna be pretty cool. Right now, this is phase one. So we're just working on the main building, restoring it and uh, bringing it back to kind of look like the historic way it was built originally 100 years ago. So when, when something's historic and it's a heritage building, you have to build it almost the exact same standards as it was back in the day. Back in the day, they actually used to build buildings to last forever. Nowadays, we see people are using more cheap materials and stuff, which is kind of fascinating. It's kind of funny considering, you know, the, the way we, we've, we've progressed in, in building and stuff. But if you look at the masonry on the building and everything, this is like this beautiful craftsmanship back in the day. This is the way it used to be done. Um, that's what we're doing. We're doing historic work, which is slate installation, right? We're not using natural slate here just because the budget didn't really work for that. We're using uh, synthetic slate, but it gets that same look. We're working on phase one right now. So um, basically just getting all the slate roofs, all the flat roofs, get everything watertight. Because if you look at the building, there's still some plywood from the fire and there's still some damage that has to be restored. We're doing our part. That way everything can be done inside. Um, once the building's watertight, they can go and install windows and do everything else they gotta do to restore the main main building to phase one. This building will last another 100 years until the next fire. Phase two is gonna be pretty exciting. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be any historic or heritage uh, at all. It's actually pretty modern, all metal, zinc. It's gonna be pretty sick. And it's gonna be a, a cool restaurant and, uh, and lounge once it's all complete. So I'm excited to eat here once it's all done as well. See what it's like.